Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 2021 Playoffs Edition Round 1, Part 2, or 3. I don't know. We'll see. It's actually Part 3, I guess. Yeah. I am your host, Dorgar, with my ever-lovely co-host, J-Man. Hello. So, yeah, this is the special episode. It's going to look a little long. But this is the round threes for the previous Kai matches that went to a round three. If you don't know which ones those are, check out episodes one, two, and three that came out earlier this week. And if you're watching on the stream, just rewind. With that, <laughs> also remember, at the very end of this episode and the stream here, right after we're done here, is some ominous foreboding. So yeah, J-Man, you have anything on that? I mean, let's get into it. We got a lot of round threes to go through. Yes, we have North Kai match two. Uh, so yes, hybrids managed to bring it back, going up again. Um, and due to a mishap that happened last time, I believe uh, there was the wrong map for round one. We yep. are doing this match also on hybrids. So if it looks like we just have the same thing loaded up, it's on purpose. Yeah, yeah that was just an error last time. But... With that being said, we got Budokai versus Hybrids. Obviously, Hybrids won the last match. Same lineup, same everything. So, can they do it again? We'll see. Cyborg Tao again, starting off for Budokai with Defense Plus 2, Latent Energy, Fighting Spirit, Light Body, Dende Ceiling, and Goku AI against Kid Gohan's Defense Plus 3, Attack Minus 1, Vanishing Break, Master Strike, Latent Energy, Light Body, and Chiaotsu AI. Last time, Kid Gohan did about okay. Tao's health. Yeah. So, he did it. Uh, we will have the poll this time, unlike the first one, for those watching on the live stream. Yeah, Tao needs to have another great start, because we saw what happened. Hybrids were behind, and they just didn't care. Whereas the opposite is true. If if, uh, if we can see something good out of Gohan, that might be just too much for Budokai. It just depends on how Ultimate's going to do this time. Yeah, I mean, that was really the deciding factor in the last match, was Ultimate Gohan. He's the one to look out for this match. Can he do it again? We shall see. We didn't see a lot of Team Gohan. Uh, we don't know what he's capable of, but he could always do some great burst damage. Yeah, and Future kind of got shafted as well. He died almost instantly, it seemed like. So lots of characters that can turn on the Jets. And the same for Budokai. Like Yamcha hit that one ult, and Merc Tao kind of got shredded as well. Oh, they're both at max power again. See, went from Kid Gohan. He's got a little combo going. No health pushback. I think we can objectively say that that is the wrong choice. Oh, it. ultimate! Kicked out. And no ultimate from either side. Hidden blade. Did it? Okay. Uh, I guess we got it. I thought he didn't get kicked out of it. I thought he just missed, but I guess he might he did. I forgot when we set Same this seed. up because we messed up. We we did this earlier. I don't know really how to make it into a new seed though. I guess we're going from here. If just... if we just do it again, yeah, we're good. If you just yeah hit right. a yeah. over and over. I was like I completely forgot because we were setting it up. Yeah, yeah. And we accidentally did some other stuff. There's a lot of mistakes going on. All right. So what I need to do is just leave it like that. Okay. Okay. Starting over. Go. In three, two, one. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Dragon Ball Z League Season 2021 Playoffs Round 1 Part 3. Yeah, a surprise for those teams that managed to get the win back. We are back again. I am your host, Dorgard, with my ever-lovely co-host, J-Man. Hello, everybody. So, yeah. Just uh, letting you guys know, this is a best two out of three. We are now at the best, you know, at the third part for those teams that managed to fight it back. And as always, check and wait till the end of this exact episode, episode three here, and the end of, or episode four here, and the episode stream to see the ominous foreboding we've been talking about this whole time. So yeah, with that, uh, if you guys ready? Let's get going into the North Kai match number three. Uh, uh, yeah, hybrids were able to bring it back in match number two. So now we're going to round three, and it can really go to anybody. So we'll see. Yeah, and uh, as stated, uh, for those that are in the Discord, that 
The reason this is going to be looking about the same on the start is due to round one mishap of the map was supposed to be, it's basically supposed to be hybrid, then Budokai map, then hybrid map. But we uh, accidentally did Budokai on the first round, so we're doing double hybrid this time, if it got there, which it did. Yeah. And uh, for hybrid, we have Kid Gohan with defense plus three attack, minus one vanishing break, master strike, lean energy, light body, and Xiao Tsui against Cyborg Chai with defense plus two, lean energy, fighting spirit, light body, vanishing, and Goku AI. The same builds from match number two, uh, but if you didn't see that, there it is. It is uh, in the previous episodes. Please go back and watch episode one to find out how hybrids did. And uh, yeah, in terms of for this one, we're definitely going to have to see if anything changes because Tao had a great start. And, you know, what what would happen if we're seeing, like now, if Kid Gohan's actually getting some damage done? Absolutely. Uh, Kid Gohan definitely needs to turn on the gas in this third round. But Ultimate Gohan is really the deciding factor in this last match. He just did so well. So if he can repeat that performance, it's looking good for hybrids. We'll have to see. Yeah, but Kid Gohan finally putting on the damage. Already at what he did last time. Oh, clutch dodge. <laughs> that would have been huge. And does he get the false crit off? I think he did. We got an after image strike active, I think, on Kid Gohan. There we go. And he flies into the tree. Lovely. So I think we stated this also in the previous episode, but these are the technical two LVP candidates for these two teams that are going at it. This is the LVP stream that happened uh, two weeks ago. And yeah, so both these characters are not expected to do too much. So going against each other does does bring some interest. And they're both after image strike users. So it's kind of funny how even these guys are. And Kid Gohan definitely doing a lot better than last time already, which, I mean, it's not a great performance, but that just goes to show you how his last performance was. Man, look at those charge rates. And we have the pull get rid over. Of it. Oof, Ouch. Only nicked him. Does have super minus two, though. And uh, we looks like Hybrid's winning this vote 62 to 37. I believe it was 50-50 last time, but after seeing old I do, Gohan, yeah. I think the audience has wavered on Budokai support here today. Yeah, and look at Kid Gohan actually starting to do some stuff. Might do an ultimate. Yeah, All we right, saw him kicked out of it in round one. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Similar to the other one. Oh, my God. I feel bad for stats because the uh, false courage there just made that damage funky. I don't think Tao got his bar back, though, so he should only come in with one bar, which is... Good for hybrids, bad for Budokai. Oh my god, that's bad for Budokai as well. I mean, it was already bad that she was using it on a near-dead character, but it not even yeah. killing means he can do damage and tag. So and she, she Oh no! Him. Oh no! Well, Income extremely comes. even match. Yeah, very even. 18 coming in with Super Plus 1, Indignation, Savior, Power of Rage, Dendi's Healing, and Frieza AI against Sword Trunks. With attack plus two, defense minus one, quick fast attack, Dende ceiling, serious savior, late energy, Broly's ring, and Ginyu AI. Does not use his ultimate this time around. Yeah, I don't even know if that got the boost, but... Yeah, this is interesting. We know that 18's been real hard for Sword Trunks to deal with, and it looks like that hasn't changed. Although 18 has been oddly missing all of her B2 so far, so Trunks kind of staying in there. Oh, an Android Barrier to create some space. Destructor Disc. There we go. Now we're getting that Super Plus to use. And Trunks does have that Attack Plus 2, but he has not been able to get in too much against Android 18, which is not good. And yeah, this is a cannon fight. So she is in her uh, post Android's art costume, so a little funky. Though. Oh, right. Burning Storm. Could still argue it as cannon. Let's just call it soft cannon, but wow, but yeah, Trunks, Trunks actually doing well this time. He's actually hit a few B2s, and that's extremely good for Budokai. Uh, she's going to come back in her savior, her indignation stacked. Ooh. Rough B2 to take right away from Trunks as Mercenary Tao comes in with key plus one serious indignation with turn life and shout to AI. He was the main standout in match number one, so he's looking to repeat that performance. We'll see if he does it. Yeah, I mean, last round, I think he got kind of stifled a bit. 
They're still trying to take out their first member of hybrids. Both teams yet to have a character go down. I... No, yeah, I guess Tau tagged, didn't he? Yeah, with his last yes, bar. Yes, everybody is tagged so far, but first member has gone down, and it is Sword Trunks. And because he tried to tag, Kid Gohan's getting an early return. Kid Gohan immediately going up to max power. Could we see an ult? Oh, loses the clash. But not a follow-up. Followed up late and misses. It's it doesn't go far, far enough. enough. <laughs> That's an ult. Hey, there we go. But might get hit. Grab. Got grabbed. Yodon should finish? No. No, I don't miss because he bounced in the, the wrong way. Yeah, yeah not gonna... looking super great for hybrids, for sure. They are definitely in the health deficit. But you can see who's coming in next, and that might change this entire match on its head. Yeah, I mean, Kid Gohan, you can't really imagine he's going to do too much against Tao, of all people. But any damage he does is just kind of like icing on the cake of his performance because he was not expected to do this much damage. Yeah, I mean, he's not doing too bad. Yeah, even that, not doing too bad. Super minus two after all, but he has no defense on Tao, so. Yeah, no, no defense, and unfortunately, Trunks did a little bit worse than they were hoping, I think. Yeah, I mean, he brought it to 18, but yeah, I mean, Kid Gohan's actually having a great week. He's already taken half of uh, Merc Tao now, too. Well, yeah, I mean, on his last, like, half bar of health, Kid Gohan has just absolutely turned on the gas. Finally going down. Uh, that might have evened up the health, honestly, by him doing two bars there. But on Paw should miss. There we, wow, he kind of flew back into it. Scared me for a sec. But in comes Old Gohan. And he is rocking Attack Plus 1 series, Quick Fast Attack, Eternal Life, and Shiaotsu AI. Uh oh, Ooh, stuns hit. him. The reflected Key Blast by Gohan's own attack. Gohan, you've done this to yourself. How is that half health? Can Ultimate Gohan bring it back in Hybrid's favor like he did last match? Yeah, I mean, he may be struggling right now, but this is also stacking as serious. So when he gets doing on some combos, and he also did a lot of B2s that just absolutely devastated them. Yeah, yet to do a B2, like finally doing Super Explosive there. It's on a melee build, to be fair. Yeah. And that almost took out Tau. If he can take out Tau before he tags, that would be huge for hybrids, because they have, like you said, yet to take out a character. Oh, and he Ooh. manages to tag. Granted, they are all kind of around their last bar of health, so yeah, it's not the 18. end of the world. I think only 18 has two bars, and everybody else has one. Yeah. Except for and these two, Yamcha and Kid Kid. Right. And we still have Future and Team Gohan in the back, so it's not undoable by hybrids by any means. Kid Goku coming in with uh, Attack Plus 1 Sirius, Light Body Power Rage, Launches more Bowling, and Ginyu AI. Doing pretty well against Ultimate right now. Yeah, Ultimate having a real rough time, honestly. He's even tagging just to try to get out. Tag. Oh, and a counterattack hitting immediately on Team who just tags in. Very unfortunate for hybrids. Coming in, by the way, with P plus one, launching support, fighting spirit, savior, demi ceiling, and shout to AI. Will he be able to do an ultimate here? Would do a lot of damage, would go a long way. Really, any B2 is what he just needs to do here. And that's an ult. Ooh, and he's Ouch. already moving. Very unfortunate here. Well, if he can take out Kid Goku, oh, he doesn't. Nobody Again. wants, you want to talk about a team who's just refusing to die. I think we saw this from Derp too in their second round match too. Just everybody tags at one bar. Just don't go down. Nobody die. We can't lose. Oh, nice yeah, dude on paw. Team not doing much. Super Masenko should finish him. No, doesn't even He's got him. that defense. Oh no. Super Saiyan 2, the terror of the league formerly. This is exactly yeah. what they need, is they need Team Gohan to go Super Saiyan 2 and just destroy. Takes there out his go. first victim. He only needs two bars as well to get Super Kamehameha's. There it is. Oh, in comes Yamcha, the final fully held member of Budokai. Ooh, and a health pushback. Oh, that missed. And that's going to take Magic. him out. Well, he tried. Wow. Gotta give he him some really credit. He really did try. 
Yamstra with T plus two super minus one fighting spirit quick fast attack savior dragon power and Gohan AI just unfortunate from Team Gohan had a lot of potential to do some quick burst damage there that's gonna hit that was a charge B2 Budokai. this won't kill because the super minus one and it's not a very yeah. damaging super Budokai really taking the lead here against hybrids Yeah, this is pretty rough. Future is in the back. I mean, Future's a pretty good character, and they still have Ultimate alive, so there could be yeah. some tag game nonsense. And you can see the melee damage right there. One combo taking him out. Oh, any V2, honestly, hitting off that is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah, let's see. They're both at max power. Ultimate. Oh, health pushback. Okay, Ultimate, if you do, <gasps> this should hit. That will hit. It was already in Ouch. the air. Wow, just a ton of burst damage from ultimate, and the health is almost even. It's yeah, like it's, within a bar. If he takes out Yamcha, okay, so it's like a bar lead for Budokai, but it's over multiple yeah. characters, and so they, they have the Savior on 18. Yeah, definitely still big. Oh, oh, health pushback. another push health pushback. And a Kamehameha. Oh my god. This is looking very bad for hybrids, unfortunately for them. Terrible start, and the Masenko from downtown actually hits. No, I don't think. What's what's Future's build? Does he even have healing? He has Superless One, Fighting Spirit, Light Body, Launcher Spore, Kabeo, Secret Art, and Color Mirage. So absolutely no healing on him. And a Sadistic 18. Ooh, he needed to do very that. Very lucky. Wow. Okay. That might be I mean, the difference today. Uh oh. He's back up though. Looks like he was charging up some Wild Senses. Structure disc. Yep, there wild sense. Uh-oh. This is not looking good for future. He really needs to take out 18. Oh, transforming. Go Super Saiyan. Alright, I mean. He's got power up to the very undoable. limit in this form. Let's see. Oh, oh that's disc. gonna hurt. Ouch. Yeah, I don't think he can do this anymore. With no he needs healing. to win this clash. Oh, no, that's it. Yeah. All right. And with that, Budokai will take it 2-1 over Hybrids, a valiant fight by the Hybrids. Budokai uh, hoping to at least do better than third. Uh, I believe they had fourth place last year, so trying to get up past that this year. So with that, we are moving on to the next match. Are you ready, my friend? I am ready, and they're going up against Earth... No, not Earth Defenders. Sorry, who... Budo they'll be going Bujins. up against Bujins. Thank you. I was, I was thinking B, but I next couldn't get week. it out. So our next match here is Royals and Rugrats. Yeah, this match last time was won by Vegeta's Sacrifice. Will we see it again? I would love to see it. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting one. There's a lot that could happen. Um, I mean, that was like the only thing he did. So, you know, what could happen if he does even more, right? Yeah, could be a game changer. But starting off for Royals, we have Videl with key plus two, super minus one, latent energy, fighting spirit, or sorry, rising fighting spirit, light body, dragon power, and TNAI against Cell Jr. with key plus one, combo master, dragon power, rising fighting spirit, fighting spirit, and Gohan AI. Never forget, he blew himself up against Cyberman, the king of blowing himself yeah. up. Yeah, and if Videl has another really good start, I'd say it's looking good for Royals, but uh, she needs that good start. Yeah, she started with the loops, but she's getting rush B2 now. There it there is. We go. Almost stunned him. Yeah, he's Junior. not a true Android, albeit he is on Android's uh, roster, that is, Masterless. Yeah. Um. A slow start right now for Videl. Desperado Rush misses. Cell Jr., I feel like already doing better than last time. Yeah, I mean, he only did like maybe two bars, so obviously a way better start for him. Whereas Videl is uh, the one slipping this time. Yeah, which is not great for Royals because it came down to the wire. It was Trunks versus a couple one health characters. So, sorry, one bar health characters. Another, Another miss. Both kind of wasting their max power modes there. 
Special Beam shouldn't hit. Oh my god. Shouldn't have hit. Almost did. Adele just yeah. needs to get the rush. Oh my god, but she can't. Yeah, Sideman doing a lot better there job. We there we go. Doing a nice little combo. She may tag. There we go. And there we go. Giving a better matchup. Majin Vegeta back Whoa. in. We'll see what he does. He came in a little early. Majin Vegeta with Super Plus 2, 2 minus 1, Savior, Light Body, and Ignition Seed, Shiaotsu Secret Art, and Shiaotsu AI. I said Shiaotsu Secret Art. It's Kabito Secret Art. Jesus. Just Chiaotsu. Just know there's a Chiaotsu in the area. I, know, it, I was reading too fast. But, wow. Vegeta really needs to take out Cell Jr. Going up against Aureli as a second matchup is a little scary, I think, for Majin Vegeta if he performs like he did last. Yeah, it will be interesting to see. Uh, did go for a little bit better of an idea of a B2 this time. He actually used it from close range, albeit it was dodge, where he kept doing max range ones last time. Yeah, he has super plus two. You literally have the potential to oh, take him out in one B2. Misses. To a rush that I think so. Yeah. All right, and a tag. Do you have two bars or one? one everybody's at okay. they have two one bar tags just one bar lead for rugrats right now yeah uh oh jojo's right in her face will hit and a majin's awakening back up to max power he probably won't use his ult yet but it will charge up his b2s oh, oh he's getting closer to that threshold ten thousand do <laughs> dollar ten thousand damage came from the Rayleigh with attack those two defense minus one then they see him save your lane energy serious quick fast attack and yadro oh and that hits this is a way different Majin Vegeta than last time. Absolutely. And another one. Another one. Will almost finish her. Will and he finish Aureli. her with a punch? Aureli, wow. a non-factor this time. The <laughs> Demon <laughs> Child is out. She cannot help Rugrats get to the bowl this time. Wow, this is insane. Majin Vegeta just waking up. Literally, Majin's awakening. Will we see another explosion? I would love to see it. I don't know if we're going to. I mean, he has three Blast Stocks. And it's he the needs same to character! Lose some HP though. Yeah. Just a little bit of HP. And Cyberman with a health pushback. Jesus Christ! Oh my god, 10 hits did like 2,000. He has <laughs> nothing for melee outside of his uh, boost here from his B1. Oh my god, Vegeta is. has arrived. Well, okay. I guess he took a break last time. Cyberman? Uh, yeah, Cyberman? Cyberman? <laughs> Cyberman. Damage, you gotta deal some, my guy. Oh no. Okay, uh, Cyberman did have defense plus two, latent energy, power of rage, like body quick fast attack, and give you AI. Wait, he didn't come in earlier, right? So he literally just did 50 damage? Yes. What a rough time for the Rugrats community. <laughs> yeah, that was a little rough. In comes Goten with attack plus one, Dende healing, Kabito Secret Art, Serious Indication, Bowie's Ring, and Majin BAI. Honestly, if Vegeta blew up now, it would just be an insult. Just be I like, I'm gonna deal 25k to somebody. I think Goten might take him out. Vegeta definitely trying to hold out as long as he can, but I don't think he. Yeah. Yeah. Never got a chance on. to uh, do the B1. Wow. Just wow. Income Slug with T plus one, Indignation, Fighting Spirit, Eternal Life, and TNAI. Now, Rugrats are not out of it. Cell Jr. is in the Absolutely back. Not. Goten is here, and we know how scary Kid Trunks can be. I know yes. there's a lot of members left on Royals, but it is not, it's not the impossible. Worst. It is not impossible for sure. They still Luckily. got a lot of talent. But wow, yeah. this that Majin Vegeta performance was just insane. And the funny thing is, is like he almost did that much last match with just one explosion. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say that. He took out two characters today, like That's full cool. characters. Aureli and Cyberman, he took like their full HP bars. Could we see an ultimate from Goten? Uh-oh, we'll uh -oh, finger beam. beam. Uh, okay. This might not hit, he's behind the wall. No. It was a good idea, he used the false courage to not deal with the uh, beam, but the backflip that he has to do to make the space put him behind the ledge. Unfortunate from Goten. Yeah, very unfortunate. Into a throw, another finger beam. Whoa, dodged, very nice. Yeah, my guy, this is the EL user though. You can't just be dodging, you gotta be hitting him where he's regening. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, well, 
looking a little bit rougher for Rugrats every second with Slug keeping pace, if not doing better than Goten. Goten's um, finally getting his damage in, though. But, finger Beam you know. again. All right. Well, I and think it's going to come up tag. to Tags. He needs to do some tag game stuff. They have three characters. I think he just loaded an after image. Wild Sense. Yeah, Wild Sense. Coming in. Hit. Hits. Wow. Charge. And he brings Might it back. Take a slug. Oh my god. Yeah. Goten really took this back. This matchup. Not, not the whole. Uh... No. Yeah, his individual match, he can at least say he did the right thing, and this might take him out, and it does. Yeah. Got to dodge to the left, my guy. Yeah, honestly, if he had hit, if he hadn't hit the wall with that bros, I think Rugrats would be in a much better place. And Max Power Mode giving him that free Draconic Aura, allowing him to take out Giant Slug there. Very easily. In comes Videl, looking to maybe get rid of Trunks' Max Power, which wouldn't be a terrible idea. She can stall. I mean, she's just gotta, he's just gotta use something. There you go. There we go. Well, no more max power from Trunks. That's good for Royals overall. Trunks, I, by the way, keep us to use your minus one. Well, yeah, Rug if Rugrats have taken out two characters right here with Trunks, so something is yeah. happening. They are indeed fighting back. There is a lot more health they have to go through than Royals. However, you could argue that the two strongest characters of Royals are down in Majin, Vegeta, and Slug. Who both obviously are yeah. extremely scary members of their team. Yeah, Metacooler definitely really good. He was high in the stats for a great many weeks. So, we will see. Uh, to finish off Trunks' build, he had Indignation, Savior, Eternal Life, but at least winning Chow's Rare Eye against um, Metacooler's defense plus Oh, Snowman dead. Healing, Power Rage. God damn it! And Freezer AI. Metacooler flew Sad through day. it and he gave it a hug. He's like, Snowman Tackle! Full Power Energy Wave hits. If he keeps pace with Meta Cooler, that's a loss. He needs yep. to outdo Meta. Also, Royal said their job was to destroy the Snowman. You could say job complete. Congrats, guys. Finger Blitz Barrage for all of it, 52. Yeah, Meta Cooler is a very good character. I just wouldn't call him like a standout. He's one of those you need characters, the median characters, just there to hold their own. And uh, I mean, if he holds his own against Kid Trunks, that's about as good as you can ask, right? And he's doing really well against Kid Trunks. I mean, look at this absolute pressure that he's putting on. Like this damage is almost doesn't matter for how much he's giving him back. Yeah, he's about a bar in the lead. Trunks can definitely make that up, but you still have a full health baby in the back who hasn't necessarily been the best member on the Royals, but you have a full health character against one bar. Two bars as is, but one bar, yeah. Yes. Now it's one bar. No. And I mean, Cell Jr. still has to finish off meta before even getting to him. It's, uh, yeah. it's a rough time. Ooh, good well, try. Well, that special beam hit. All yeah, right, I think Rugrats' hopes are pinned on their worst member, Cell Jr., the LVP. Oh, God. It all rides on you, little man. Yeah, this is a, this is a rough one, and he's uh, currently getting wailed on by Metacooler. And that should be it. No, nope. Hanging on by a prick. No longer hanging on. Well, we officially cannot have Rugrats for the second year in the row in the finals of the Tenkaichi Bowl. So with wow. that, Royals, after not making playoffs last season, are now moving on to take on Resurrected Warriors, the absolute terror of the 2021 season. I mean, Rugrats were a scary team and they took them out, so you're going to have to stay tuned in for round two next time on that. But yeah, one more match and then we can, uh, we can get on to some ominous foreboding. Yeah, we're almost there, guys. Last match, South Kai. Cold Kingdom was able to bring it back to a one-in-one. -one. Can Derp hang on, or will Cold move on? We will see. Yeah, I mean, this is a pretty big match. Both these teams really trying to get themselves in that, you know, post-season series getting going. So, 
looked at, both matches have been extremely close as well so it's going to be interesting to see which one derp obviously a underdog team a lot of people want them to do well they always have a rough season cold uh had a bad season last year and this year have managed to pull themselves up by the bootstraps and get going so they are looking to continue that momentum and the pull is up Yep, pole is up again, starting for Cold, King Cold, Attack Plus 1, Eternal Life Series, Light Body Freezer AI against Vegeta's Attack Plus 2, Defense, Minus 1, Series, Quick Fast Attack, Launch, Support, Deadly, Stealing, Broly's Ring, and Ginyu AI. Derp really looking for Vegeta to have a stronger start than last time. He started off really well, and then ended up leaving King Cold with two bars, so they definitely want him to take out King Cold. Yeah, both actually doing some melee this time. Uh, another thing to note, Zarbon has got a lot better chance this time because they are actually on a map with the ground. Though his one yeah. grab he did hit was above the ship last time. True, true. That was so funny that out of all places it haven't hit right there. Another scatter finger beam. So, again, this is how Vegito started off last time, but King Cold was able to bring it back. Now, to be we'll fair, can keep the it wasn't a happen to be there. He hit him with the rush, and rushes put you into the neutral spot of the map, which is above the ship. Right. That's where they start. So, right. kind of a funny combo, though. I don't think he meant it, for sure. But, yeah, Vegito, man, he's put the damage on King Cold when we were talking. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, much better performance than the first match, which Derp is really happy about, I'm sure. But King Cold's not out of it yet. And he could tag. Attacks were a huge part of their round two match. Oh, yeah. All right, down to half health and a tag with one bar. Oh, that's going to hit because of the tension that's up. Death Beam. Ouch. Uh, Mecha Freeze are coming in with defense plus three attack on this one. Damn, they and quick fast attack. Exquisite skill, late energy, and shout to AI. Looking to take out Vegito. Also looking to tag. Yeah. Might this isn't going to kill, but it's going to get him. Real close, and the that will do it. There we go. Nice key blast follow up. It's about a one bar ish lead due to how much Vegito did, though. You could argue it's near even with the health transformation on Kibito here. I would say it's pretty even, all things considered. Obviously, Cold has a tag game, but it is a 5v5, so. A little different. And Derp certainly showed their tags in round two. I mean, yeah, hopefully they can keep it up. Um, no tags so far, obviously, it's only been one character. Screen Kai with Tech plus one, two, then it's in Power Rage, Cell AI, by the way. I'm trying to stay in there. Man, they're really keeping even, these two, uh, which is probably better for Cold with the tag situation as it is. Yeah, I, I would say. That is, that is true, and especially because King Cold is a strong character. If Vegito had tagged, I would definitely have been more in Derp's favor, but it's it's looking real rough right now. He also has Eternal Life, which means when he comes back, if the person doesn't, you know, wail on him, then King Cold's just going to keep healing. Yeah, if, if they aren't uber aggressive right away. Okay, there's that health bringing him back to over half health. Yeah, I mean, this is the why we were saying that. He gets a nice little chunk back, and yeah, these two, we were talking about it last time, are very surprisingly even in kits and how they function, it seems like. However, their builds certainly differ a good bit. Yeah, I mean, they are going head-to-head -head right now, basically as even as you can get. Derp really wants Supreme Kai to either start doing some more damage or just tag and come back in later. Yeah, at this point, he can't transform into... Oh, that might... Oh, it's going to put nope, him real low. Okay. Surviving would love to tag into Hercule. There we go. And uh, comes ult Hercule. Ooh, would be the stunned. only thing I think he can do to kill a defense plus like for Mecha yeah. Freeze at this point. He needs the ult. He does have super plus two. Uh, key minus one, indignation, fighting spirit, dragon power, savior, and shout to the eye. So this will do a lot of damage, but it won't kill. Yeah, this is going to deal a lot, but as we said, I look at the amount of defense, even with... Present oh, this should might take do it. Bye-bye. That defense really right. putting in work, though. Back to about even. Base cooler with key plus two, super minus one, fighting spirit, indignation, quick fast attack, save your launch supporting out to That's an old... Death ball! Oh, right that is face. awful for Derp. They needed Hercule to dodge that. Absolutely. And the, uh... He's already down to half. 
The poll just came in, and we have Derp at 56%, Cold at 43%. So people wanted Cold to win before, I think, to go to round three, to, you know, just for round three fun. But now they're hoping Derp can get through, and uh, Cold currently doing the better job at pushing ahead. Present Bomb, this will do about 11k, maybe more. It does 10k, almost even. 10k. Yeah, um... Dodoria with a headbreaker, very nice, a nice combo to start bringing that health lead. Um, wave from Cold, Dodoria with defense plus three, laden energy, fighting spirit, indignation, oh sorry, not indignation, sorry. Launches support, savior, and checks it out. Yeah, got two spammers going at it, the one more on the tank side, one more on the key side. Uh, with how low Cooler's at, though, I wouldn't be surprised to see a transformation here soon. Or attack! Well, He's going to have two bars, bars and savior back. Yeah. In comes Zarbon. Monster Zarbon with attack plus two, defense minus one. Dragon Power Master throw serious. Ooh. Latent Energy and Majin Buu AI. Well, that defense plus three putting in work. Only about 4,000 of that grab, which is still an immense amount of damage. Monster Zarbon has to have, like, the highest damage grab in the game, even without all these boosts. Cause that is a lot of damage. Yeah, I mean, him, Raccoon, 16, those are those are the people you think of when you think of grabs. Is it would you call this a training day for these two? I guess. The two yeah. buddies fighting at it. Oh, right hand and left hand man. Up. Who's gonna win? Oh, Dragon Power putting in work. Man, if Dodoria would have just charged up, he would have been able to block that for free and then probably followed it up. Yeah, Another going one. into a clash, maybe not the best idea against a Dragon Power person. Power for each, there's a small chance. Dragon Power, it's it's there, but man, is that chance small. Nice combo, though. Yeah, I mean, he's keeping it even. He's actually been doing more than even because he managed to do a good chunk to Cooler as well. And another, another grab. grab. <laughs> good God, that grab damage is oh, just almost got insane. another one. All right, Dodoria looking to do a little ping pong. I can't even see Zarbon. Move out of the way. There we go. He's too fat. He's too big. Big bone. Headbreaker. Oh, that's going to hit. Nice. Oh, I thought he was going to get another hit off of that because he got like kind of stuck in place. Yeah, I don't think I've seen him get stuck like that, but I don't think that you can get like multi-hit. I think you just fall off eventually as it showed or just get pinned. It would be good cheese. Um, oh, this is wow. going to kill him. Yeah, that's it. Dodoria having a much better time this time than last time. I think Dodoria just ate ults last time. Yeah, in comes 100% final form Frieza now with two plus one launch of support. Ouch! Save your fighting spirit indignation like Bonnie Frieza. All right, a way better performance from Dodoria this time around, for sure. Yeah, this is the person who gave him all the ults, too. And he's looking for a tag. Frieza, you gotta end him now. Uh -oh, oh, that, that false courage, courage is gonna kill him. Off. Unfortunate, Ouch. not not too good, but cold. Still in the lead, though. I would say not as much as it was before because they have no more full health characters. This was their last one. Yeah, um, Income Salsa, defense plus two, attack minus one, lane energy, indignation, eternal life, and Piccolo AI. So yeah, their last full health character, they still got some people in the reserves. Derp only, I believe, has some green pie in the reserves. Yeah. No, it's, wait, a, did it's a very tag? close. Who? Did Herc tag? I think Herc with one bar. I believe yeah. so. so. Yeah, extremely close match. Need 100% to really perform right now, and he is currently struggling. Well, he he got final form down to half health, which was about a bar, and he's lost about a bar. So he's going even, but they definitely need him to do more than even. Oh, look at that key rate and a death that saucer. saucer. Nice dodge from Salsa. Yeah, yeah 100 I, for four is good. I'm talking well. about a battle of two teams that just want to will their way into playoffs. These two teams have put a lot of heart and soul into the league this year to try to make up for, you know, how rough they had it last time. And their results have really shown. Got a finger beam, probably won't hit. God, he needs to get more consistent with those B2s. That's one of his main, like, outlets of damage yep that's why they gave him indignation to allow him to do as much as they can though he's just kind of an all-rounder you just kind of have him survive long enough to kill people yeah unfortunately it seems like frieza does not want him to stay in there he's doing just 
crazy amounts of damage to him right now. Yeah, mostly with melee though, which is probably the weirdest thing to see is 100% Frieza on a full spam build is just punching the crap out of Tank Salza. Yeah. Not how I would describe this match, but you know. All that'll hit. Should hit, almost kills him. Just punch him, just punch him just a little bit. No, oh, Salza. You Don't let him tag. tag. Oh, stops no. the finish sign. Oh my god, Salza! Punched out of the psychokinesis and gets There him. we go. But I think damage is done. I think Absolutely. 100% Frieza. Maybe not like a super crazy amount of damage, but that's that's what you needed him to do there. Oh, Ow, didn't matter. Ball, super explosive. Now we have the two Eternal Life users up against each other. All right, looking to tag into Herc would probably be a good idea. Just get Salza out of there. Let him recharge some health. But he oh, it, get a oh, oh, the angle. Tag, Salza, tag, you fool. <laughs> Just dodges all that buildup. Salza, yeah. what don't is... be a hero, Salza. Don't be a hero. Yeah, this is a definitely derp has to tag game right now. The health advantage is just falling away oh from them. Oh my them. god. Just. Just Ooh, do it. You're getting them? so lucky with the V2s. Oh my god. Is he going to go for an ult? It oh no, matter. that's it. Salsa. Look at the amount of health. God. He did so little. King Cold came in with one bar and he has a bar and a half now. Yeah. That will survive. That could survive a present do. bomb. Present bomb. There we go. It did. Oh, it oh was enough God. to survive. Oh I'm a math God. genius. All right, dynamic waste. Just okay. Punch him. No. No, he's keep broken. Just punch him. Oh my God! Just he's taunting in him. front of him. What oh a madman! Hey, he realized he had all the time in the world. Well, this is about as even as you could have it now. Present it bomb. is now in Derp's favor. Present bomb. Will we see another? Oh my God. A planet burst? Oh! oh this is God. it. That's it. Derp is in. What? Oh and just like that, Derp has taken out Cold Kingdom. And Derp will now be going up against Muscle in round two next week. The, the champ showing champ. off exactly With why he is the champ. Oh my god, what was that, like, 5v2s right at the end? Oh my <laughs> yeah, god. he... The, sa the best part is, if he didn't do that exact combo, Cooler could transform and then get Supernova, which is bigger, it does more, and then all he has to do is hit 1v2, basically, on the next person, and he wins. So you want to talk about it getting close. But yeah. You have anything Ooh. else to say then here, Jamin? I mean, when was the last time we saw Derp go to round 2 of the playoffs? Uh, it's been a while. I think they had to have Nuova, pre-nerfed Nuova last time. So it's been a minute. So yeah, they are Love fighting by their own volition again, uh, of course. And yeah, with that, if you have any final marks before I close out and move us on to our ominous final event? Uh, no, just thank you everybody for joining us. Check us out on the Discord and make sure to subscribe because we need more subscribers. Yeah, for sure. Check out the, as he said, there's a link to the Discord and the website down below if you want to learn about anything, the events, the builds, anything going on. Um, and yeah, that's going to do it for episode four. And as we said, we have that final thing. j -Man, are you ready? Let's do it. The mutes begin.